Right. So Subtract the 3y. Yep. Solve x plus 3y equals 2 for x. What's happening is 3y is being added to x, so we've got to undo that by subtracting 3y from both sides. And we just get x equals 2 minus 3y. And I'd like everyone to attempt to rewrite this with the y term on the left and the number on the right. So what would it look like if we switched the, these terms around? x equals 3y. And the oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So, so I like to, because think about it, we, this is definitely a positive 2. Correct. And you don't want that to become a negative 2. And this is definitely so, a negative 3y, right? Correct. So it would be x equals negative 3y plus 2. Plus 2, very good. So this way or this way is correct, and I'm glad we just went over that in the video so everyone sees that. And just for fun, I can't resist. If I had x plus 3 times 10 equals 2, that's just x plus 30 equals 2. Um, I would subtract 3 times 10 from both sides. I could if I wanted to. That's fine. And 30 minus 30 is 0. Now I have x equals um, 2 minus 3 times 10, which is just um, 2 minus 30, which is negative 28. Right? And negative 28 plus 30 equals 2. Does that make sense? So I just plugged 10 in for y just for fun, just to see what would happen. And similarly, I could rewrite it as negative 3 times 10 plus 2, because that gives me negative 30 plus 2, which is negative 28. But I can't write it as 3 times 10 minus 2, because that would be 30 minus 2, which would be positive 28, which would be wrong. Does that make sense? Yes. But you need the negative in front of the 3y, and you need this to always to stay a positive 2. Yeah?